Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. So in this video, I just do want to give you some information that I've added uh, some extra features to my website here. The link is obviously in the description. So I've added a section for free templates where I'm going to be adding free HTML templates that you can use for whatever purpose that you want. So free for commercial and personal use. So when you click on the free templates page, you come here where there are templates, HTML templates ready made here. Now, the interesting part is that these are editable uh, HTML templates. So if you don't like something about the template, you can easily edit it. So let's see one example. So for example, if you like this particular templates for latest posts, uh, let's go here. So when you click on it, you come to this page and you have several options here. You can view a preview. So if I click on demo preview, it shows you the actual template uh, in live fashion so that you see exactly how it looks like. Now on the same page, you could click on edit template or you can click it right here. So you can actually click edit template there and it will take you to a new page and it will load the template editor here so that you can edit anything about this page. Something like this, my posts instead of that. Uh, let's say you don't like an image. Maybe you don't like this image, click on it. Uh, look for the properties panel here and click on uh, whatever property that you're looking for will probably be here. Now, if you don't find a certain CSS style that you want, you can just type it directly in the styles panel down here to change anything about the selected element. At the top here, it shows you what type of element you've selected. In this case, this is the image uh, uh, thing. So you can right click or you can go to edit and select either a child of that element or a parent of that element or a sibling of that element and so on. You can also delete an element. You can copy elements and paste them elsewhere. You can duplicate elements. So for example, if you wanted more of this container, let's say this one right here, I can select it, go to edit and duplicate. And now we have an extra, and then I can select that, go to image section here, click on there, and you wait a little bit to load images and you can select a different image, for example, that one. And of course you can edit the text. So something like this. And just like that, you have a, an entirely different element. You can close the panel here uh, or click properties again to see it and select an item. Make sure you've selected an item. Then you can go ahead and click preview page here to give you a preview of what you have done. So I've edited this and I get to see a preview. So as you can see, there we go. We have a preview of the template I have just created. And if you like your results, you can go ahead and click the download button and that will give you a downloaded version of your new template. So anything can be changed here. We go to properties. I can, for example, change the font type here, just change to a different font. I can change the font color. I can change the background color of this element here. So anything can be done. The box shadows, uh, for example, you don't like or you want the box shadows to be darker, you can go to uh, box shadow over here, click on the color and then uh, darken them or even change their color to something else like this. So as you can see, the shadow around that is a different color and so on. So everything is editable from the images to text colors and so on. Even the background color, you want to change that go to where it says BG color and change that as well. And then you can do a preview to see what you have. Okay, so this is true for all templates here. 
That's what's exciting about all of this. So let's say you want a login page. Uh, maybe this one, there's something you need about it. You can click on it. This is the, uh, the preview. And then you can go ahead and click edit template to edit that particular template. Let's see how that goes. So you wait for it a little bit to load. Uh, you can close this here if you want. So in here, maybe you want more of these. You can simply select the container, edit, duplicate that, and then you have more of these. So it goes down here. You can select it and right click, or you can go to edit and say move up and you can move things up and down. So just explore and see what is possible with this stuff. And then you can just go ahead and start editing. Maybe this one is retype password. And if for some reason you don't like it like this, you want this to move further, you can select this, click and drag. You can click and drag to resize things as well, like this. It doesn't matter. This box, you want it bigger, you can drag like this. You want this button bigger, click on it, drag as you wish. Change the text there, change the image there. So everything is editable, of course. You can edit the background image of this by selecting that thing and you go to, instead of image, you go to background image instead. And then you can add a totally different image altogether in the background like so. And you can choose even backdrop positions, background repeat, background size, etc., etc. And if you can't find a um, a CSS style, of course, you can just type it directly in there. Don't forget the semicolon after you type any style in there. So as you can see, everything is editable here. You can even save if you want uh, the browser. As long as you're using the same browser, you have the same project saved. You can save as preview. You can even import from your saved pages. Uh, a, sec a certain segment, import that page into another page. You can open new pages, for example. In my case, I have one saved page here. It doesn't have a preview, but there is one saved page. So very soon I'm gonna bring sign up and login for this editor here so you can save many more projects on this. But at least for now, you can go ahead and let me go back to free templates here. I think I lost that one so I can close this that I'm editing. So any of these templates are up for grabs. Just click on the one you want, edit template, and you are ready to go. So hopefully this will be a very helpful resource for you. Let me click here and just type something else about me. Um, change the logo there if you want change this image by clicking on it, going to images. Uh, you can edit to a different image, for example. And there we go. It's a different page now. Type in uh, some other text here and so on. Yeah. Edit your work experience. Change the images in the gallery, uh, our website. And if you want, you can easily just add a whole new section over here. Just make sure nothing is selected. Click add element over here. And here you can choose from many, many things. Let's say, for example, you want to add, uh, let's say user profile here. There are sections of that here. You can just click on one of these that you want to add. For example, this one, I'll click on that. And just like that, I have this section here ready to edit to improve uh, what you're doing. You can add element, for example, there are galleries here just to get you started. So I will be adding more content to this uh, thing here so that you can easily create whatever you want here without having to struggle much. Let's say I want this image gallery with text. I'll just click on it and there it is. Then I can begin editing my text like that change the images by clicking properties and change the image there. 
Just as simple as that. Look at that. As you can see, now I have an entirely different page which I can then preview if All I right. want. So that's what I wanted to inform you guys about. So this is a free resource. You can use this as you wish. The templates are free. Uh, so knock yourselves out. Just check. I will be adding new templates every now and then. Uh, whatever tutorial templates we put in here, we do will be automatically added to the list. Right now, the list of templates are very few, but of course, that will improve over time. I wish to make thousands of these templates to make your work easier. So you just click edit and then you have a new page. That way you can concentrate on your PHP instead of the UI design. All right, so hopefully this will be very useful. I will see you in the next tutorial.